Hey, what's up everybody? Thanks so much for coming back for another video. In this video, we are going to talk about the differences between digital sketching and just regular paper and pencil sketching. So with that said, let's go and get into the video. So I have to say what happens whenever you are using, let's say you don't have the funds or it's not in your budget to get an iPad and an Apple Pencil. So with each, this right here, using just your basic tools and that are more cost effective. And with this, you're able to learn the traditional way of sketching and you will not be limited by this. The only limitation would be your imagination and just your skills. And it's not much you have to worry about with this. And with using a tablet, for me, one of the most difficult things was getting used to using a digital stylus and coming from a lead holder to a pencil like this and having to have a charge was pretty difficult at first and at times whenever you're working on a piece and you're really into it and then you get the dreaded warning iPad is about to die and Apple Pencil is about to die and so each of these methods would work you just have to obviously take more time and really learn what works for you and not let the tool be a crutch. And I say that by not letting it be a crutch because if you have a sketchbook and you don't use it, but you have a tablet and you use that, that's okay. You just got to be able to switch from both. There's a quote from Milton Glaser, which was, if I remember correctly, it said microwaves are to food as cooking. Hold on, let me find it real quick. So the quote is computers are to design. So the quote is computers are to design as microwaves are to cooking. And with that said, just have to really remember that these tools don't matter. It's all up to you and all about how you can execute and use them. So hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what your thoughts are below and I hope you have a wonderful night, wonderful evening, no matter where are, no matter where you are in the world. And what do you prefer? Do you prefer to use your tablet compared to paper? Yes, I know tablets, you don't have to use as much paper, but it's good to know how to do both. So let me know what you think.